What up, what up, everybody? It's your boy Jordan. We back again with these muscles. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me real quick. So today I'll be doing a reaction video to fitness YouTubers ranked best to worst. Now this video is from Athlean X or Athlean X with Jeff Cavalier. So let's get right into it. <laughs> okay. And the worst category, most unoriginal, check. Most likely to put me to sleep, check. Most annoying, check. Absolute biggest douchebag. No. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? What is this? I'm putting together that video you wanted. Fitness YouTubers ranked best to worst. No, 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 no. I just said keep it positive. I want to just talk about the people that are good, that I like to watch. You don't want the worst of the worst? No, no I don't like to cover that stuff. Do you guys want the worst of the worst? What, yeah. What are you asking <laughs> well, I want to know what their opinion is. They're going to tell you they want to hear the worst. I want to just stick to the pine. By the way, what makes you think that all I do is watch fitness? I like a lot of different things on YouTube. This list is killing my gains. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Dog. That's funny. What's up, guys? Jeff Cavalier, AppleX.com. So today I'm going to answer the question that probably has been asked to me more than any other question in my entire tenure here on YouTube, and that is, Jeff, who do you actually watch? Well, today I'm going to actually reveal that list to you. And because I don't tend to spend a lot of time watching people I don't like, I actually have a list full of people that I do like, and I'm going to mm. recommend them to you. Now look, I got twin sons at home, so I don't really have a chance to do a whole hell of a lot of anything. So when I watch, I can't wait to see his list, Jeff, because I know if he watch them and he like them, I know I'm gonna like them. Hopefully, me and him watch most of the same people. Hopefully, watch. I want to make sure that what I'm getting back is quality. I think you're gonna find this list is quality. The first person that you're gonna find on this list, in no particular order here, alphabetically, Dr. Andrew Huberman. Now I actually had a chance to appear on a recent podcast with him. He put. I don't know him like that. Well, of course not personally, but like his videos, but right here, he do look familiar though. He do look familiar. It's actionable advice at your fingertips. Now, whether you want to know about how much sunlight exposure you should get in the morning to optimize your health and longevity, or how cooling your hands can actually improve your output from set to set in your workout, this is the person you should be investing your time in. I love this channel. Make sure you check it out. My next recommendation comes from another colleague of mine in the medical field, and we're talking about Dr. Brian Suterer. He is a physiatrist who breaks down injuries. And as you guys know, as a physical therapist, I can certainly appreciate an injury, and more importantly, how to rehab somebody from an injury. But what's really important... I don't know him either. Okay. <laughs> so far, the first two people he likes, I don't know either of them. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Both of them are like kind of like people in the medical field, doctors too. I don't watch a lot of people like that. I know some, like, I watch some people, but not, like, probably at the level Jeff do, because he is a doctor himself, I think. Well, physical therapists now are doctors. I think Jeff got, like, a master's, if I'm correct in physical therapy. I don't know, but I, I know he's in that field. <laughs> For you guys is to understand how they happen. If you understand the mechanisms of an injury, you might have a better awareness of how to prevent one in the first place. The place to go to, and oftentimes almost immediately after one of your favorite athletes hurts himself, is going to be this channel right here, another one that I highly recommend. And next up, we actually proved that all screen time is not bad screen time because it's one I actually let my kids watch. I mean, anything to avoid choo choo TV. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Bright side. And oh, on yeah. bright side, you can learn a I'll lot about something side. in a really yeah. short period of time. Or you can, of course, expose yourself to some sort of riddle that tests your brain. I'm someone that likes to test my brain from time to time and prove just how much smarter my sons are than me. The fact is, guys, if you haven't seen Bright Side, I'm sure there's some topic of theirs, especially since they publish every single day, that's going to intrigue Yeah, I like their channel. Bright Side, I like their channel. I like them. Intrigue you, and it's definitely worth checking out. And of course, when too much education starts to rot in the brain, you gotta have somewhere to go from there. I like to just kind of decompress and laugh, and for me, I'm gonna go back to fitness and Don Mazzetti, Bro Science Life. Again, this is someone that's made me laugh for years and I never saw him before. taught me some very important things like leg day is really not that important and arm day really is. And SARMS, well, actually stands for steroids are really much sicker. Bottom line is, guys, if you're looking for a laugh and you want someone who knows how to do it better than others, you're going to have to check out Bro Science Life. Now, I always say every good coach needs a coach, right? Someone to motivate and push them. And when it comes to motivation, there's one type of motivation that I like and it's that in your face kind of push you to do things that you don't want to do. You gotta start. Oh yeah, CT. Like yeah. Not only is he a dear friend of mine, but he's been somebody that I have turned to. Oh yeah, you definitely have to watch CT Fletcher for sure. For that motivation, when I need it the most, 
If you can find someone that can light the fire on you when you least want to work out, then you need to invest some time in watching them. I will always rely on the great C.T. Fletcher to get me fired up. And of course, if you have an opportunity to have him take you through a workout, maybe you should pass. <laughs> And of course, continuing the theme of the type of person that I turn to for motivation, you can probably guess that somewhere on my list, this next person would be. Oh, yeah. I Actually, like him too. Ironically, he doesn't even have a YouTube channel, but you've probably seen more YouTube videos of him than maybe mm -hmm. anybody else. Yeah. It's because he can motivate you really well. We're talking about David Goggins. David, a former yeah, Navy could. SEAL, is hard, as he likes to say. In other words, you're not going to find any way out, or at least not the easy way out, with him. But if you want to be called out on your weaknesses and made to face them to rise yourself to that next level, then you're certainly going to want to check out one of his many videos somewhere spread across the YouTube world. When it comes to pure strength, the guys that I rely on are the ones that have that applied science, the ability to put what they teach in practice. And for me, one of the best places to find that is going to be Elite FTS. And in particular, I've always sort of found myself navigating towards the Swede Burns videos. There's something about his ability to yeah, I'm not familiar in with that laid back but still incredibly effective way to convey whatever it is he's teaching. Let's face it guys, there's a lot of ways people approach different lifts, but when you find the person that can convey the idea in a way that clicks for you, it's a game changer. And not to mention, he's not the only one over there that's handing out incredibly valuable information. Whether it be Dave Tate or J.M. Blakely, the channel is rife with solid information. Definitely some place you're going to want to check out if getting stronger is what you want to do. And as I promised in the beginning of this video, the diversity of my viewing habits is not all about fitness. Actually, I'm a big musician at heart. And the first person that hits this list for me is someone that I came across on TikTok. We're talking about Harry Mack, one of the baddest cats on the planet when it comes to freestyle rapping. Typically, you give him five words or three words, he can make an entire song. I think I'm right familiar with him, kind of. He looks familiar. He's also incredibly real and engaging and just makes you want to watch. And for all these reasons, guys, I suggest you do too. And by the way, Harry, if you're watching, carrot cake, face pulls, and dumbbells. Go see what we can do with those three. Now, I'm not surprising a lot of people with this next pick because a lot of people are watching him. But the fact is, I love watching the show on a regular basis, and we're talking about Joe Rogan. And the thing that's most oh, yeah. appealing to me is that he actually shows a genuine interest in his guests, and not just interested, but wanting to learn from them and willing to have a diverse group of guests on his show. With an open mind, there's always something you can walk away with after three hours of listening to a Joe Rogan podcast, and for that, it's something I'm going to continue to listen to, and I recommend you do too. And by yeah, the way, I like Joe, his podcast, Joe Rogan. I like his. And so with that, we now go back to fitness. And guys, you know that Athlete Next is about putting the science back in strength by having the practical application and the hands-on application of science through everything we do. That being said, a lot of science is tough to deal with because it's inaccurate or it conflicts with itself. You need somebody that's willing to go through and kind of read the research and summarize it for you. And for that, we have to look towards Jeff Nippert. I have Facts. a lot of respect for Jeff. Facts. He's willing to take the complicated and make it understandable. And more importantly, make it understandable for people that don't. Yeah, I like Jeff Nipper. He he's probably like probably my top five like favorite like fitness YouTubers right now. I love his content. Ever really read the research in the first place? It takes someone truly dedicated to their craft to actually go through all that literature to leave you guys with nothing but the unbiased and fair representation of what it stands for. And guys, when you put it back with the applied science like we do here, it really helps you guys to take yourself and your fitness to a whole new level. And so, not to take anything. Yeah, what I like about Jeff, like he said, like. He bring like he's very like detailed like with the science side of like the fitness and like me like I'm not the most like sciencey person like I'm trying to get like more on that side but like Jeff he break it down so I'm so I can understand it better like he's the best like explaining the science side like me I be trying to read articles so like sometimes I don't understand but like Jeff you well yeah his name Jeff too <laughs> yeah but like Jeff Nippard like him like he. Like I said, he detail it, like the articles he read, he make it like in a simpler way. That's how I like it. That's how I understand it. Then it makes more sense. So yeah, Jeff Nipper, if you check out his channel, please do. Have great content. Moving away from this next recommendation, because I am recommending them, I would say this person is the polar opposite of Jeff Nipper, both in terms of personality and probably content. But it doesn't mean he's any less watchable. We're talking about Jesse James West. You might be surprised that I actually watch these videos, but I really do, and I enjoy them. He does interesting yeah, challenges, I'm not familiar lots with of him. collaborations, and has a way of engaging the audience like very few can. And he's also young and good-looking, of course, in great shape. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Young, good looking, undeniably in great shape. That's me right here. The one <laughs> Jesse that matters. I guess there's only room for one Jesse on this channel, but you guys should still check him out. <laughs> well, if you're enjoying this list so far and finding a lot of people that you like to watch too, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And also, who else do you hope to see on this list? All right, now back to my list. And then we have one more entry into my motivational go-tos. And for me, how can it not be Jocko Willink? Jocko is another former Navy SEAL and someone who knows how to get you to do something that you didn't really want to do in the first place. Yeah, I'm not place. familiar but with more him. more importantly, he knows how to make you a better leader. Of course, as a leader of my channel, I always watch Jocko to learn how I can better serve my followers and my viewers by leading by example. Not just that though, guys, he can get you to perform better in all aspects of your life, not just in fitness, but also in business and the everyday struggles we all encounter. If you're the type that also appreciates the direct no-nonsense that we all sometimes deserve, then make sure you reserve at least some time to watch Jocko Willink. The next channel I'm recommending here is one that belongs on this list for a few reasons. Most notably, because he's a friend and someone I continue to learn from even in his passing. We're talking about the great John Meadows. John knew how to break down bodybuilding better than pretty much anybody on this platform. And he did it in the most likable way. There's not a single person that could say that they didn't like John Meadows. And if you did, then you gotta check yourself because something's wrong with you. Yeah, he, he knew how to break familiar. down exercises, how to make workouts more exciting. I probably saw him before. But most of all, he knew how to get. Yeah, he looked familiar. I probably saw his work before, but. I probably saw him before, but like his content, I'm probably not familiar with. More from you, a great family man, a great role model, someone I continue to be inspired by. For me, John Meadows will always be somebody that I recommend to you. Now, for anybody that's watched this channel or knows my professional background, I spent three years as the head physical therapist and assistant strength coach for the New York Mets. It goes without saying, I love baseball. But now I spend all my time watching mm -hmm. John Boy Media. You see, he knows how to break down a baseball game in a very unique way. If you've ever watched the clips that he puts up pretty much every single day, he breaks down what the players are actually saying, let's say, during an argument, or what the manager's saying as he's getting kicked out of the game. I actually have first-hand experience with that since I could hear all these conversations from my front row seat in the dugout. Terry, 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 Terry. His ability to decode what these guys are saying and do it very, very well and accurately is something you just gotta check out. Next yeah, I need to check him out. And so one of the things that I've said from the very beginning of time is, don't give me another Jeff Cavalier or someone that's just going to copy what someone's already doing. I'm not impressed. But give me someone who thinks about something differently and makes us challenge the way we think, and that's got my attention. And I've mentioned before how I like to watch Knees Over Toes guy, because he's changed the way people think about knee pain as a first-hand sufferer of it for many years and done so in a way that I think makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. We know the biomechanics of the lower leg require more dorsiflexion in getting that knee further out over your toe, so why would it not translate into the exercises that you do? It's a really intelligent approach, and as a knee pain sufferer myself, someone I've definitely checked out, and I definitely recommend you do as well. Yeah, I need to check him out Next too. Next up on my recommendations is somebody that you probably know, or at least you probably know his delts. We're talking about Derek from More Place, More Days. By the way, no one knows his last name, and that's another thing well done. You see, Derek has managed to brand his entire channel around his first name because people know him as Derek from More Place, More Days. In other words, they know him as their friend, someone that they can converse with. In every single video that you watch of his, you're going to get that tone of basically conversing with a friend. And I think that's the reason why people relate to him as much as they do. Now, some of his content doesn't necessarily interest or relate to me in terms of maybe revealing some of the specifics of steroid cycles, but for those that do find it interesting, you're at least going to be able to count on the fact you're going to get a reliable and yeah, honest I'm familiar with him. A difficult question and one that is rooted in a super physiological amount of knowledge in the process. If you're not aware, the next person. Yeah, I'm not familiar with a lot of these people Jeff is saying. I probably need to check some of them out, but like David Coggins. Yeah, yeah, Coggins, I think. Yeah, it gotta be Coggins. <laughs> CT Fletcher, like people like that. I'm more familiar with them, but like most people he's saying on here. Oh, yeah, like Jeff Nipper. Like most people Jeff on here is saying, like, I'm not familiar with them. I need to check them out, but I like this video so far. It's introducing me to new people of, like, content I may like. So, yeah, continue on with the video. Person on my recommendations list that you're just not watching YouTube enough because everybody knows who Mr. Beast is. He yeah. should be called Mr. Best because, honestly, the person who puts the best videos out on this platform is Mr. Beast. No Facts. matter what you're interested in, you're going to find yourself clicking on one of his titles because how can you not? 
And it's not clickbait, because no matter how sensational the video topic may seem, he somehow figures out a way to deliver and then some every single time. Guys, if you haven't done so, like I said, crawl out from under that rock and make sure you check out some videos from his channel. Yeah, I like his now, videos, Mr. Beast. Now, that Mr. Beast known by pretty much every single person on YouTube. The next Mr. is someone that maybe not everybody knows, but should, especially if you're into tech the way I am. We're talking about Mr. Who's the Boss. Well, what Mr. Who's the Boss does is he puts a lot of time and effort into the quality yeah, I'm not of familiar with him. Now whether he's breaking down the latest Samsung Galaxy or telling you to save your money on the latest MacBook Pro, the bottom line is he's doing it in a way that's very understandable and most of all enjoyable to watch, which oftentimes isn't the case when we're breaking down tech. For many, it's boring. When he does it, it's a hell of a lot more exciting. Everybody knows that nutrition and supplementation can be a very complicated science, especially one that's highly debated. But when you apply a knowledge, an extreme knowledge of the subject matter to a channel, you can actually start to approach it in a more objective way. And for me, Rhonda Patrick does this better than anybody else. At Found My Fitness, she's able to take extremely complicated subject matter and make you feel as if you understand every single piece of it. And most of all, like Dr. Andrew Huberman, walk away with some actionable advice, something you might want to add to your supplementation plan or something you might want to do or change about how you're eating in your lifestyle right now that could pay big dividends to your overall health. If you haven't checked her out yet, guys, I highly recommend that you do. She's one of the smartest people on this platform and beyond. I have to check now, her this out. This might come out of left field for some of you guys that don't realize my love of music and my background playing the piano, but I really do love music. And for me, Rick Beato is a must watch when it comes to breaking down music. If you've never watched the channel before, I guarantee you, if you do, you're gonna find something that's gonna keep you hooked from minute one all the way to the last minute, even if it's 30 minutes later. He has a way of breaking down music so you can understand what it is you're actually hearing. From the individual instrument contributions to a popular song like Rocket Man, or just breaking down his favorite part of a song like For Whom the Bell Tolls. And not only that, he's extremely passionate. And you can feel it from second one all the way to the last second of the video. With over 90 million people subscribed to this channel at the time of this video, I'm certainly not alone in being a fan of it. We're talking about the WWE. Oh, uh, growing yeah. up, I was only about 50 minutes from headquarters, so I had good reason to want to pay attention, but I just grew up loving wrestling. That being said, as a physical therapist and strength coach these days, I can certainly appreciate the demands of the job, and I find more joy and satisfaction in working with these guys, knowing that I'm always going to get the best effort they have. It's not just the entertainment value that we get, but it's the understanding and the appreciation you have when you know what's actually going on behind the scenes. And back when I talked about Jesse James West, I mentioned another guy out there who was doing WW, WWE is lit. <laughs> Something very similar who also has my attention. We're talking about Will Tennyson. Again, we have someone who's putting a lot of effort and quality effort into their videos and makes them very engaging. Whether it be taking you through a daily vlog and incorporating, let's say, a thousand clips to do it. Again, much appreciation because I know what goes into making a video like that. The idea is you're taking someone who's young and engaging and fun and also in great shape and overall be incredibly positive in delivering his message from video to video. They're certainly going to get my respect yeah, I need to check and also out. my views. Mm -hmm. Guys, I highly recommend you check out Will as well. And so with that, guys, you've got plenty of recommendations to go out and start, let's face it, watching a hell of a lot more YouTube. That being said, I also have some friends that didn't make the list simply because I didn't want to become a biased friends list. But I'm going to mention them here as well because they're worth That makes lot. sense. We're talking about Matt Wenning, Alan Roberts, Chris Duffin, Pete Rubish, Shredded Sports Science, Joe DeFranco, and Mark Bell. Guys, all of them are worth a watch, and of course, I appreciate every one of you watching this channel and subscribing, and if you haven't already, guys, make sure you check to make sure you are subscribed. If you're looking for programs, guys, we have them all over at athletics.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you back here again soon. See ya. See you, Jeff. So that's the end of that video. I really enjoyed that video. I thank Jeff for doing this video, especially just to introduce all of us to new YouTube fitness, like, creators. I... Now, I didn't know most of them. I have to check them out. But I knew some. But yeah, I'm definitely going to check out a few people after after this video for sure. This, I really like this video that Jeff did. Yeah, comment down below y'all favorite like fitness YouTubers or just YouTubers in general y'all like to watch in the comments below. I would like to see who y'all watch on YouTube or y'all favorite people. Now I can discover even more people to watch. Yeah, personally me, I'll probably say like five people who I like watching. Of course, Jeff. So that's Jeff Cavalier. That's one. I like uh, Funk Roberts, Bully Juice. Yeah, like I said, Jeff Nipper. Let me see. I know it's more. Oh, yeah, Fraser Wilson. I, I, I enjoy their workouts. Yeah, CT, Cali Muscle. I like Thin X. And I prob I, I'm probably named like three more people. 
like a top of my head, Simeon Panda, Mike Rashid, and Greg Doucette. I have way more people, but I'm not going to say all of them because this is already like a almost a 20 minute video. So if y'all enjoy the video today, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Also share this video with your friends and family. Follow these muscles on Instagram at these muscles. And I hope everyone have a blessed day. We out.